Scandinavian Bob here, hi. You know those days when you have really stubborn urges? You know those days when they seem to last forever? And they are also pretty aggressive. And you start thinking, what? the hell am I going to do if they don't go away? I don't want to break my streak here. Well, today I'm going to share a trick from my own rebooting journal. Yeah, this is something I did back when I was rebooting and it saved my ass quite a few times. But before we start, I would like to share another thing with you. If you are addicted to adult sites and you are tired of relapsing, then listen up here. The last couple of months I have been checking out a system created by a licensed therapist using something called habit construction therapy to quit using adult sites for good and I have to say the results are truly impressive. Now when doing some more research in order to find out if this is something I could recommend to my subscribers, I got to know Josh, the therapist, and I would like to invite you to join a webinar where Josh tells you more about how this very system has helped him and many other guys quit using adult sites for good. Now what makes this system so good is that Josh has personal experiences from having to become free from adult sites and that in combination with the new HCT method produces absolutely phenomenal results. Yeah, so Josh is the real deal. I'm happy I got to know him and his system is actually so good that I decided to become an affiliate for it. It is the best system you can currently find out there and I can highly highly recommend it to you. But I have to tell you though, this is not something for you if you are just doing NoFap like a cool little challenge, you know, like for example to get a deeper voice and stuff like that. No, you have to understand that Josh has literally spent thousands of hours on educating himself and then on creating a phenomenal system. So obviously that means it will take some time and investment from you. So do not go there and then come back here saying, hey, why are you sending me to something that costs money? <laughs> because that's just bloody obvious and anything else would simply be just craziness. I mean, it's really that high quality. Now, it is 100% free to sign up to the webinar and listen to when Josh talks about the principles behind it. But if you are not willing to invest in yourself, then that's fine. But if so, don't even go there and don't complain. Simple as that. However, if you are sick and tired of relapsing, you notice the negative consequences and you need to put your life in order and quit once and for all, and you want to put yourself together, then I invite you to join the webinar. Just Type into your URL address bar browser right now pmoflatline.com forward slash web3 or click the link under this video where it says webinar and it'll take you there. Alright, so what I'm about to share with you is taken from my own rebooting journal that I'm in fact looking at right now. It was a Saturday many years ago and I was on day 31 of no PMO. When I woke up that morning, from the very start of the day I was in a pretty bad mood. And since it was Saturday I was also free from work and I had made the big mistake of not making any plans for the day. Right away from the morning I got my first urges. I tried to surf them all while checking my emails and, you know, checking my notifications. But the urges were stubborn. So I left my computer and went and took a shower. My urges persisted and in the middle of my shower I said, damn it, and I turned the knob all the way to the coldest setting because maybe a cold shower would kick their ass. Well, that did the trick and after the shower I sat down at my computer again because I wanted to arrange some music for my band. But I hadn't been sitting for more than five minutes before the urges attacked me again. It was only 9 o'clock in the morning and I started to think maybe I should just relapse to get rid of these urges. No, god damn it, I won't throw away 30 days of perfect rebooting. But man, these urges are persistent. I tried surfing and it helped a bit, but after a while they came back again. This time I got up and went into my living room. I lied down on the floor and did breathing exercises. Again, that did the trick. Finally, I can continue with my work at the computer. But guess what? 
as soon as I sat down the urges were there again. I was so close to opening up an adult site and I started thinking I have the whole day in front of me. I'm never going to make it. I'm going to relapse now. Why not get it out of the way? And I was so close to doing it. But then I started thinking of that deep feeling of regret I would have tomorrow if I did it. That feeling of self-betrayal. So I stood up, put my jacket on, glanced at myself in the mirror. I was kind of wild looking. I needed a haircut so I said, okay, let's go get one of those. And I jumped into my car and drove to a hair saloon. After the haircut, I looked at myself in the mirror and I felt better about myself. I was thinking that it feels so much better taking good care of myself than to literally hurt myself by relapsing. So I thought, what the hell, why not continue this self-care? So I went to a store and I bought myself some really nice looking jeans, a pair of shiny brown shoes and a nice looking t-shirt. Wow, now I felt even better and I started thinking, man, now I'm really feeding an identity of that of a person who takes good care of himself. What more can I do? Well, I had my gym clothes in the car. So while I was out on the town, I went to a gym and had a nice 90 minute workout. After the workout, I took a shower again and I put my new clothes on, went to a restaurant and treated myself to a good healthy meal. After that meal, when I stood up, I happened to see myself in the mirror again and I felt like a million bucks. Just exercised, new haircut, new clothes. I wasn't just trying to be someone here. No, I actually was a person who took good care of himself and immediately when I stepped out of the restaurant, two girls passed me on the street and both of them looked at me in a very flirty way. Oh man, I felt like a million bucks. I drove around in the town for a while and then returned back home and guess what? I had no more urges that day. And when I woke up the next morning, I still felt like a million bucks. I felt so good. And let's contrast that feeling against how I would have felt if I had spent my whole Saturday binging to adult sites for several hours. <laughs> oh man, like a night and day difference. Now, there are two key points in this story. Number one is the most obvious one. I left my house and got away from my computer pretty much the whole day. Had I stayed inside, I would have relapsed 100%. So as I have said so many times before, we need to stay busy and away from the computer when urges are really stubborn. And the second key point is, by going out and doing all those nice things for myself, I was really feeding a self-identity of that of a person who takes good care of himself. And this is what we want to do, because if we slowly but surely keep working on a self-identity like that, it will also help us stay away from relapses in the future. And so now you say, okay, but why would it? Well, because the strongest force in human psychology is the need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. Meaning, if you have an identity of that of a person who takes good care of himself, you would automatically start staying away from relapses because you know that living a life where you keep consuming adult sites is not good for you. And that would give you that intrinsic motivation to stay clean. Trust me on that. It is really, really powerful. Now, obviously you can't go out and spend a lot of money every time you have an urge. But why not try what I did in some form? if you run into a day when you seem to have never-ending urges. Because the double win you are getting by strengthening your self-identity in combination with not relapsing will help you stay strong for many days after that. Maybe even weeks. Alright, consider subscribing for more helpful videos and as always, I wish you all the best in your journey to become the strongest version of yourself.